Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I'm back for another one and I wanna jump right on in as I usually do because I'm so excited to show you the, especially these first five items that I found. I love them so completely much. So here we go. I found the Halloween fairy garden items and I'm completely obsessed and in love. It says trick or treat right over the door on that little sign, the little pumpkins. The house is shaped like a beautiful pumpkin with the little windows on both sides, the witch hat with the cobweb on it and I love how they are painted. So I found four different styles. This one I have to say I think is probably my favorite with the ghosty with the boasty coming out of the window. I love the circular windows, the little tombstones down here, that secret door that is covered so that you can't get in it. And I love the, the stone walls and that beautiful roof. So I found this one as well and I thought it was just so pretty. Then I found this one here that says Halloween above the door, the cauldron, the black kitty with the witch hat on. And I love the roof that is shaped like leaves. So love that. And I love the cobblestone walkway. If you guys have never been to Salem, Massachusetts, I think that everybody should at least experience it once if you like anything related to you know history of Salem witches or anything like that and just the history of Salem Massachusetts is pretty interesting and cool and so all of these things in the cobblestone walkways are there and it's amazing so right here look at this one with the uh, skeleton head I love how they made the eyes the window right here there's cobwebs and that one with a little spike over it. I love those wood looking doors painted purple and the cute little pumpkins stacked up. So that reminds me of the witch's dungeon um, in Salem, Mass as well. So I found those four houses and it made me so happy to know that I'm going to come home next week and I am going to make a Halloween little village. Then I found in the fairy garden section, these two packages right here of Halloween gnomes. There are three of them in here and they are so completely adorable and cute. This one is sitting in a jack-o-lantern cup with a little straw coming out of the back. That is so cute. This one is holding, let me see, this one is holding a lantern, a candy corn, like, uh, no, I think that's a candy corn. And it looks like he's telling you to shh. And right here, this one is holding a cute little lollipop and they are beautifully dressed. So I thought that that was magnificent. And then this package right here that is holding a, a green hand coming up from the ground is holding a sign that says trick or treat with the skeleton at its base and the little tombstone right here that says RIP with blue roses. So this is what I picked up so far. I am certainly hoping that I find more pieces to it because I love them so incredibly much and they made my day and made me so happy. So there are those right out the gate and I absolutely love it. Now, for fall reasons, I did find some brand new style little loaf pans. These are ceramic, so they are very breakable, and I'm clumsy. So right here, I picked up the two that were my favorite, but there were four different designs in total. This one says, hey there, pumpkin, and I love the saying of that, and I love all of the little treats that they speckled around this, and I love the coloring of it. So I think that they did a great job with this one this year, and you can, you can bake in these. This is from Royal Norfolk, and it's my microwave safe, dishwasher safe, oven safe. Um, so that is really, really fantastic and beautiful. So I grabbed that one. These are so good for like loaf making, little little uh, cranberry orange breads or banana bread, a small little loaf and putting some packaging over it, a cute little tag on it and giving it for a gift. This one says gather. I love that setup in the wheelbarrow right there. I just love all the hay bales with the pumpkins and the flowers stacked on it and the leaves 
off in the distance through the skyline. So completely beautiful and cute. Let me say goodbye to my son because he's out the door. Bye. I love you. Have a good time. Drive safe. Be careful. Love you. So I thought that that was so fun. I thought that those first items just blew my socks off and made me incredibly happy. Now to go from the little loaf pans to the cutest mug, I've seen them come out within a while and they do have some cute mugs that show up. This one looks like a sweater. That would be fun for the fall. That would be fun for Christmas type of, you know, just a little cozy hot cocoa in your sweater mug. And I thought that this was really beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now they did have a red one as well, but I loved the white. So I picked up the white and I just think that this is perfection, absolutely perfection. It's a nice, heavy, big mug. And I'm definitely going to relax and sip some hot tea in there. So picked that up. Yes, I did. I scooped de duped it right up. <laughs> now, here is this gorgeous pedestal. We have a lot of breakables today. We certainly do. So I'm a little scared. <laughs> uh, but this was so pretty. And I loved the texture that they put on it with the little speckles. Those, you know, kind of taupe looking speckles on the cream pedestal. So this just sparkled in my eyes. And I could picture a candle on it. So I grabbed one of these LED pillar candles that have a switch on it on and off. And I think that they went really nicely together. This fits on it just almost perfectly. And if you like that style of a pedestal, these would be a good contender for it. So this is Luminescence LED Pillar Candle. It's a flickering effect, which I really like. An on and off switch is on this. It goes for 120 hours, so that's great. And um, right in the bottom, just make sure that it has the little pull tab so that you can pull it out. And then the on and on off switch will be able to light that little flicker right inside of here on that pedestal. Now, another thing that you can put on the pedestal, just in case you don't really want the candle, I grabbed this really adorable candle that's in this pretty packaging here, and I thought it went together quite lovely. Now, if you're gonna get these for fall reasons, for gifting, they do come packaged with a little ribbon on it, and I think it's completely cute. But I am gonna take this off, because I'm very interested to see this just sitting on the pedestal. Now, this is the candle. They did come in multiple different uh, shades and different colors, and I thought that they were gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So right here, if I was to set it on that, I think that that would make a pretty little decoration piece as well. So I grabbed it and I love it. I think I might go back and get some more of these beautiful sunflower looking candles because they had them in yellow. Um, they had them in an orange and I really liked that brownie orange. So I picked it up. Okie dokie then. So let's Oh, let me, let me get over onto something else really quick. They came out with all new Nancy Drew books. They've been carrying the Nancy Drew line. I, I think it's one through four for a while in a lot of different stores over like the last year, year and a half. And I already have those. But today I went diving and I thought to myself, that looks like a different cover. And it certainly is. So right here, Nancy Drew, this is a brand new one and it's number five. So, and the clue crew case of the sneaky snowman. So this is a great book. Nancy Drew is just absolutely fantastic. And it's a great little reading style book with some pictures inside of it. So picked up number five. Then I did grab number six here, and this is in the Clue Crew, The Fashion Disaster. So fun. Number six, brand new ones at the Dollar Tree. So great for reading, gifting away, and just keeping in your uh, children's library if you have one for yourself personally, for your kiddos. This one is The Circus Scare, which is kind of fun for like Halloween type of read. That's really cool. Clowns, creepy. I know a lot of people are afraid of clowns. So, and then number eight right here, this one is Lights, Camera, Cats. And I thought that that was really fun. The cover looks like a blast. And I was so happy to pick up another four of them that can go with the collection of the first four that I have. So I grabbed it 
and I'm happy about it. Now, okay, let's see where we're going here because we have things all over the place and I want to make sure that I'm grabbing correctly. I picked up some more ornaments. I did. I had to. A few more came out that I'd never seen before and they made my heart extra happy. So right here, this little Santa face is fantastic. I think that they did an incredible job on this. I love the material that they used for his beard and his mustache and it's really, really well made. So I picked this up. I love the berries with the little greenery on his hat and he is a looker and that's very country style. So that would be a cute ornament for like a country themed Christmas. And then these are brand new to my eyes as well. They did have them in gold and in red also, but I really loved the brown because I think that they can either go for fall or Christmas to be honest with you and there are two pine cone glitter ornaments inside of each one from Christmas house so I picked those up and those were so completely pretty now I found these I found these and I thought that they mimicked the wonderful decorations that always used to be up in my house when I was a little girl growing up we had a really big big antique Santa and he was older than I was and my family had had him for a long time and he was always up and he would um, light up and he was life size so this mimicked that in a smaller version so I needed to have him now these are motion activated okay and they do need batteries these take two AAA batteries and he says Merry Christmas and I will um put some batteries in this for the next haul and show you what he says once I turn him on. So he does have an on and off switch on the back. Then right here, I also had a really big uh, life-size snowman that went with Santa Claus when I was a little girl in the 80s. So this one mimicked the larger one that I had and it just brought back so many wonderful memories. Now this one, I don't know what he says because the box that Santa came in had a try me button. So I did hear what he says, but the try me button on the snowman box was broken. So I'm not quite sure just yet what this one says, but the on and off switch. And again, it takes two AAA batteries. So those are just the smaller versions of wonderful holiday memories and decorations at my house growing up. And I love them. Now, I did find another different style for Christmas. I picked one up for Halloween and I love it. And now this one is an LED projector from Christmas House and it has all of these really awesomely cool, fantastic images that will cascade when the lights are off, like hopefully on the ceiling or on the walls or wherever you position this. This one right here, um, it takes three AAA batteries to turn on and it does have an on and off switch on the bottom. So they had one in a red style with different, um, with different little cutouts on it for the illumination. But I liked the green one and I liked the options on that one particularly. So I picked it up. Now, okay, I found these beautiful candles, absolutely gorgeous candles, and these are so nice to put in your windows over the holidays. My mom always had candle lights through the whole entire house in every window, so this is beautiful. This is Christmas house as well, and this is LED Christmas uh, candle with timer. And this one is, it says six hours on, 18 hours off. That's what it says. But what I thought was extra cool about this is that it comes with this little suction cup so that once you put it in your windowsill, you can suction it to the window so that it doesn't tip over or fall down or anything like that. I really, really appreciate and like the detail of that feature for sure. So I grabbed this up very, very quickly. Now this takes two double A batteries. That's what this one takes. And that's very like a very nice, cozy, warm country look to go see houses. And everybody has like a beautiful candle burning in the window. So that makes me happy. I did find some fancy chunky glitter and glitter glue. And I found it in four different colors, but I did want 
the red and the green for Christmas crafting. This is Glitter Glow 3.5 fluid ounces on both of them and it has some great chunks in there for the glitter pieces. So I cannot wait to make some crafts and use both of these squeeze bottles. They did have it in a gold and also in like a royal blue that I thought was so pretty. But I picked up these in a gold and a lighter blue that reminds me of like Frozen or something like that. I like that really nice, uh, almost like in between a baby blue and a cobalt vault blue type of blue. This is Crafter Square and these are jumbo glitters and they're both 1.4 ounces and they are so incredibly pretty. Now they did have um, a fuchsia pink one and they also had a silver. That was the other two options in these but I loved these and I think that they are a great size and the caps you know they come they flip open so that a bunch of glitter doesn't just throw up right out of the bottle and it will you be able to shake it nicely. So I grabbed it up. Yes, I did. Now, okay, we have to get into some other things over here that extra, extra made me thrilled because somebody mentioned to me I had been purchasing the DIY wooden pieces and I found the one with the mermaid tail. I found the one with the mountain background and I also found the other one. Um, I think the other one, What? which one was it? I have three anyhow and they said there is one out there that has a sunshine on it and I found it. I found it and that face just it blew my mind. It blew my mind. I think that the face was just perfect on this beautiful DIY piece. So I do believe I have all four of the DIY pieces and I cannot wait to watercolor these and make them look incredibly pretty. So I love that extra much. I found some beautiful signs and you can paint these or do whatever your heart desires, but I think that these are so beautiful and perfect. I might leave them alone. This is a beautiful, heavy weighted wooden piece cut out like a butterfly. And I love the texture of it. I love the cutout. I love the little pop out pieces that give it some depth and some contrast to it so pretty. So these are brand new. These will definitely stand up on their own also. And I think that that would be pretty for like uh, just a butterfly type of scene decoration in your home. I also found this gorgeous one that is a rainbow, a beautiful, wonderful rainbow. And you, you know, your colorful friend over here lives by her rainbows over the sunshine. So I love it. It's beautiful. It's another heavy piece and it will stand up. I found a beautiful shooting star. How perfect is this? Again, look at, they just detailed these so well and I don't want to mess with it at all. But I know a lot of you are so artistically talented. You will create something so spectacular with these and craft them to an oblivion so that they look store-bought for sure. I just know you will. And I know those of you that will make those extra special. So I picked that one up. And then this one is definitely my favorite of the four. Peace, love, happiness. That's what I see when I see the peace sign. I love it. I love the little flowers on the bottom. The craft and creativity that went into these for $125 was just hands down phenomenal. So I love it. I think it's gorgeous, groovy, and fantastic. And I was so happy to get it. So I picked it up. Now, I have to show you these because these are going in my stash for a giveaway. My little Sesame Street lover is going to be so thrilled. And so I found all four of these beautiful books in the coloring book section. Whoa, they're falling down. Um, so right here, this is Sesame Street and this is the Alphabet Educational Workbook, which I just love education and the learning and look at all the pages. You've got the characters, you know, cheering you on through every page to do the work and practice. So these are fantastic and gorgeous. Then, then my little honey muffins, we have this one here, which is numbers, the educational workbook. And again, 
beautiful pages, lots of color, very engaging, sweet, cute, and so wonderful for learning and practicing. This one right here, oop, I nudged you. I'm terribly sorry. These are willy nilly. They're very slip, uh, slippery little books here. This is Letter Sounds. I thought that that was jazzy fresh because guess what? I need practice with letter sounds all the time. And you guys help me with that most of the time. So inside of here, look all of the, uh, just the great activities that are going to help you out through the process of learning. So I thought that that was beautiful and wonderful. These are slipping and sliding like, like they're at the water park. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, this is the color, color educational workbook. Fancy dancy. Look at the pictures. So many great little options inside of here. So much fun to just do like a couple of pages each day and have fun, you know, just engaging with it. So I picked those up. I thought that they were perfection. And to get books like that for $125 for practicing anything is so important. Now let's keep moving here because we have some more stuff. I found this beautiful gift bag that I can definitely see as like a door hanging. I, I, I just couldn't leave it behind. I don't even have anybody to gift it to. I think I'm going to just make this into a sign for the front door. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's big. It's huge. It's pretty for gifting for certain, especially if somebody has a beautiful, like, you know, Thanksgiving type of birthday you, around the, you know, month of November, that's a really pretty rustic, pretty gorgeous bag. So it's just pretty. That's what I'm telling you. And I love that it says blessed on there with the wooden looking distressed slats in the background. So I had to get it. I did. I had to get it. And I'm going to try to seal this all together so that it hangs on the door properly. And I thought it was jazzy. So now, okay, I'm going to be doing some crafting. Okay. I went to the fair on Thursday with my mom in the morning. And the, the, I love going to the fair for the animals. Number one, always number one, the animals. My love is animals and nature and just, you know, being outdoors. Um, but the second thing is to go to the little shopping tents and stuff like that and see everybody's crafts and creativity and what they love to do and make handmade. And there was a wonderful woman there in a booth and she had ornaments made out of these. And it just triggered me because I'm like, the Dollar Tree has those and I've never picked them up because I haven't found a reason for them in an abundance. But now I do. I'm going to craft up an oblivion with these things and they are so pretty. So this one right here is a berry garland and um, the, the little tag here is ripped off. And this is nine feet of a berry garland. And these are just very farmy and rustic looking. And now what I'm going to do with these really quickly before I show you the rest is... I picked up these uh, six pieces of chalkboard tags, and this is going to fit on the background of this just perfectly. So I'm going to set it on the background so that I can put material over it and add little embellishments to it and make Christmas ornaments or fall ornaments out of it. So I picked up this one right here, and I love it. Then I picked up a second one of that one because I really liked the white and the green beads for certain. I did grab this one right here with the orange, like the burnt orange and the cranberry looking little berries on it or beads. What are they calling them? Berry, berry, little berries. So I grabbed that. And now these will unravel. So I am going to have to secure them in a circle so that they don't move out of that circle shape because I need them to stay, stay this exact shape. So this one is the more of just a regular orange and a cranberry berry mixed together. And they're so fall, so gorgeous, or, you know, or even holiday of any kind, especially this one for like Christmas. So this is a darker maroon berry and a red berry on that one. Really, really incredibly pretty. Now those would also be pretty to set around the candle as just like a little a little circle wreath down at the bottom while the candle is resting on the table. 
my mom used to do that with berry garland that looks like that so now i'll revisit these these are chalk chalkboard tags and there's six of them in here but you know those are cute for any other reason that you can come up with using these i'm just using them for a backing for those then i'm going to take this material here this burlap material that comes in the crafter square section this is an 18 by 21 inch piece of material and this one just has the white dots on it so i picked this one up i'm going to cut circles out of this that are exact measurement of the black chalk board little tags and i'm going to apply all of it together and glue them together so that you can see that burlap material coming right in the background of the wreath and then i grabbed this one that is the pretty daisy print of the 18 by 21 inches of this burlap ribbon so i thought that that was marvelously fabulous and i can't wait to do some crafting and creating and then I picked up this sticker sheet right here because on some of them, I may add some stickers that look like this to embellish them. I do have some people as well as myself that some of these sayings really hits my heart for. So this uh, uh, is pop-up stickers. They're seven pieces. It says, don't lose hope. You never know what tomorrow may bring. Pain is real, but so is hope. All, and all things is better to hope than to despair. Um, you are stronger than you think. Hope is always, there is always hope. So there are quite a few in there. I just read you a few. And some of these will fit right within the wreath form on the burlap and the chalk background. So I can't wait. And I hope that they come out cuter than I even imagined them to. I did pick these up as well for a center of some of those if I do make more than what I actually got. Color your own ornaments and there's eight pieces in here from Christmas House and these are shaped like beautiful snowflakes so I can picture these in the middle of a wreath form to make a beautiful ornament with. I can embellish those or leave those natural or what have you. I picked up these cutouts as well and you know, as just an option for an embellishment. Six pieces, and these are the laser cut craft icons, and these are stars. So that would be perfect for Christmas ornament, uh, ornament making, and I think that they are pretty. And then these are shaped like hearts. So I love the heart shapes, and there are six pieces in there also. So those are gorgeous. And then I found a package of three and this one says hugs and I love hugs. I love hugs and I love to hug you guys through comments and messages. And so the hugs just really, really shot out to me between all of the different packages of the wording. So I grabbed hugs for now, but I might grab some other ones too. Once I find, you know, different sayings and I may go back and just scoop the whole entire rack of those berry wire wreath um, little garlands because that might set me off to make a ton of them and hopefully you know use those for Christmas and for decoration purposes anytime. Now also for those wreaths what I was thinking is that I could buy some more and I could put them on the background of this beautiful sign right here that can also be DIY'd and put some embellishments right on this to make a cute little sign. So this one is just three different pieces all together with some rope and that little hanging rope right there and I thought that I could craft and create this up for just a little wall piece and then right here this one that's solid and nice and long so there's a lot of space right here to be able to craft on as well and this one just hangs up from right there so you could grab these they have them in a bunch of different shades but i liked the darker browns so it pulled together like that really warm cozy farmhouse type of look and i loved it so now is that it that is it that is it happy happy monday dollar tree haul i love you guys so much thank you so much for being here with me i will see you guys on happy wednesday dollar tree haul i already have a video ready for you so i can't wait to be back then with you and i will probably most likely be getting back to you in the comments on Monday Dollar Tree Haul and Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. 
probably on Wednesday after a little bit of recuperation. So I'll see you then. And for those of you that are new here, hi, I'm Callan. I'd love it if you'd stick around, stay, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Here on this channel, I do Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And I am extraordinarily grateful, happy, and thankful to be here with you and for all of you to be here with me. So I will see you guys soon. And I love you to the moon and the stars in the sky. Bye, everyone.